All right, guys. So this was a part of a poll that um, came from... Um, basically, this was part of a poll that was on my Patreon. And if you would like to be part of the Patreon stuff, just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, where if you at least hit the fourth tier, you can interact with voting on polls and also checking out movie reviews. If you go to the higher ones, you can get the other exclusive content. And like I said, I've said before, if you hit the fourth tier, you can send me video, um, video requests for me to do here on YouTube. Other than that, let's get started with this video. Um, and today we're going to be doing a video that was voted on by you guys, and that is a, the, a Stormhawks crossover. And I asked everyone, hey, who do you want to see cross? Who would you want to see crossover with Stormhawks? And there were a few. Um, there were Thundercats, He-Man, uh, Star Trek, the original series, X-Men, Green Lantern. But the one that won, the one that beat out everyone else, was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So here we are, a Stormhawks Ninja Turtles crossover. So let's get into it. Um, so this story begins with um basically what has happened is that cyclone uh, cyclonus has more or less detected the cyclonians have detected a massive energy outpour in their territory this just massive surge of energy has just erupted in the middle of cyclonia like in their territory and they're like cyclonus is like all right let's go see what that shit's all about because i don't like because she thinks it's either like some it's got to be like a new super weapon the Edmosians are trying to use on her so she and her uh, she snipe Dar uh, dark ace and ravis all go there along with the night crawlers and discover it's the technodrome the technodrome has ended up here and I'm not saying, like, it came to another universe. No, it just went from one planet to another. Because in here, Earth's on one planet. Atmos is out in space. So, yeah. she. Is, so, yeah, the Technodrome had been... Uh, Krang had moved the Technodrome um, off Earth um, because he had... Um, he basically was out, like, using... Uh, he needed a new energy field, a, a new energy source for a new weapon. And he had been more or less scanning the universe, and when he found the power in the crystals on Admosia, he was like, well, that's gonna work. So he and he, Shredder, and, and uh, along with Bebop and Rocksteady and the Foot Clan, all fucked off to, that, uh, to Atmos. So Krang, um, bas uh, so Krang makes an alliance with, Cyclone uh, with Cyclonus, and the two start harvesting crystals, as well as... Um, she also get uh, Krang also get uh, gives uh, Cyclonus a new um, edge in the we in their army, and that is the ooze. Yeah, they get to use the ooze in their in their army. So now they have mutant uh, mutant talons that that are either like animal like they're mutating into like sky sharks and uh, like gr ground sloths. And all kinds of crazy shit you see on a of animal life in term in that in those terms, and they're all like mutating and attacking Edmosians at a at a at Mosian territories on a fast level. Like they are now just blitzkrieging the entire area. So that's a problem. But here's the thing: the um the Technodrome did not come without um. The Technotrome did not come without its uh, tagalongs. The uh, turtles, along with April and Casey, have all piggybacked on the following the Technodrome thanks to Doctor Bunsen Honeycutt. Not Honeycutt. I mean, perf uh, not not the fucking Muppet. Um, Professor, it's Professor Zamor Hunt. I forget his name, but he basically the guy who became the Fugitoid. Why did I say Bunsen Honeycutt? I, <laughs> I was like, I literally just named like, oh yeah, they asked B Bunsen and and me and uh, Beaker for help. Totally, this this became a low key um, Muppets crossover. Holy fucking shit! Um, but no, so they more or less asked Fugitoid to help them chase the Technodrome because, uh, um, so they got there. But they got flung to another part of Atmos, and they basically got found 
by the Stormhawks. And the Stormhawks think they're part of these new mutant soldiers that are running around in um, in Atmos. So they're basically so now they're like, well, screw. So we got to fight. We got to do the traditional team up and fight kind of deal in here. But eventually, um, they all like calm their tits and are like. Okay, our enemies have clearly um, allied together, so let's try to fix that and te you know try to fix that in a little team up. So, partners, partners. So now the team is all there, and I kind of thought it'd be kind of pretty fun to have like all these um, characters paired up. Like obviously Leo with Arrow, yeah, Leo and Arrow teamed up. Then you have like Piper and Donnie um, exploring maps and learning like. Donnie's teaching her science while she's teaching him like the science of the crystals, and then you have Mikey and Finn uh, bullshitting around with uh, bullshitting around. Like, yeah, of course, because of course Michelangelo and Finn would be bullshitting around. Um, Raphael doesn't get along with anyone else; he just thinks this is dumb. But he does like have some respect for Starling when she shows up. Like, yeah, she's kind of cool. Um, uh, yeah. So the teams have to more or less stop whatever it is um, that tech, that Krang is building. What Krang is building is a massive is a massive weapon that can more or less what it is is reboot the universe. Like more or less like cause a new big bang, and in doing so, Krang is going to reboot the universe and make it in his image. So obviously, that's not good. <laughs> So the two teams unite to stop Krang from unleashing just basically a crisis level event to reboot the universe in his image. And in doing so, along the way, they do encounter like other opponents. Like, I did want to have like some fun fights in here, like in between like Raphael fighting Repton. I thought that'd be kind of fun of having like the Raptors take on the Turtles. That, of course, like having H Repton spits Hork and Lugi fight the, the four brothers I thought would be a lot of fun. Also, Cyclonus um, becoming a mutant in her own right. Like, she just becomes this huge... Because basically, I want to have this scene, obviously, where Krang betrays Cyclonus and hits her with a with a beam that strikes her into a whole vat of ooze they've been cultivating. And what climbs out is a huge, like, just black dragon that is just pissed off. Kind of like when, remember when Tarantulas tried to assassinate Megatron in Beast Wars? Kind of imagine that scene, but instead it's like Krang going, BY THE PIT! And it's just her just climbing out and just, like, just, like, fucking smaug. <laughs> so, yeah. thought this would be a fun video. I want to thank everyone for voting on this video in particular. Um... But yeah, you guys tell me in the comments below. What do you guys think of this Stormhawks Ninja Turtles crossover? Do you guys like it? Hate it? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you want to be part of these, like I said earlier in the video, if you want to be part of these videos, just hit the link below. Head on over to my Patreon. And that. And if you just want to be part of the polls and the other posts I do, as well as the movie reviews, you can just hit the first tier. But if you want to go to see the other exclusive content, go check out the uh, go hit the higher tiers on the air. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.